Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So with Studio One 6 introducing Pro EQ 3, we finally have a dynamic equalizer in Studio One, which is something that I've been waiting for for so long. And not just that, it's actually a dynamic sidechain EQ, which is quite a mouthful, and it sounds like it's not really um, all that necessary. I mean, if the word already sounds that complicated, how essential can it be for music production and mixing, right? Well, you'll see in just a moment that even though the term is kind of confusing, the tool really is kind of logical and uh, you'll see the benefits of it very quickly, I'm sure. So why don't we just take a look at it? I have an example for you today where the playback is already mastered and I recorded a couple of guide vocals with the artist here. We were trying to make these vocals fit on top of this already kind of mastered playback that doesn't have a lot of headroom. This is track one that you see here at the very top. Now. Traditionally, what you would try to do is just amplify the volume of the vocals until the lyrics become understandable and uh, it's kind of sitting on top of the music. But then you have to slam everything into the limiter again to avoid clipping and then it just will result in the playback sounding way worse than it did before. And this seems to be an unsolvable problem until you start using a dynamic equalizer, which is the topic of my video today. So. What you can do if you're in a similar situation, if you're a rapper, if you're a singer-songwriter, if you want to lay on uh, some guide vocals or maybe even some professional sounding vocals and all you have to work with is like an already mastered mixtape or playback, then fear not because the dynamic EQ truly can be the solution to all of these problems. And that's what the Pro EQ 3 is. So what is the difference between a static, like a classic EQ and a dynamic EQ in the first place? Well, let's open up Pro EQ and take a look. When we work with a classic EQ, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, you have two dimensions to work with essentially. You have the frequency, low or high, like the x-axis if you will, and you have the y-axis which is level up or down. And you can hear the effects immediately, there's no condition whatsoever. It's brighter. This has more lows, everybody understands that. The dynamic EQ introduces a condition to this equation and that's why the Pro EQ is the perfect marriage, so to say, of what makes an equalizer great and what makes a compressor great. The dynamic EQ, which we can activate now in Studio One 6 by clicking on this D key, essentially says only lower the level here on the frequency if a certain level has been exceeded, right? So just to demonstrate that, Whenever I'm passing the threshold here, in this case, I'm reducing this frequency with up to 1.68 dB. I can also boost it if I want to, so I can do the opposite. So in a way, you can think of it as an EQ automation that you would draw in whenever a frequency gets too much, but you wouldn't use that automation all the time in order to keep the high fidelity of the original sound. Now that's all fair and good, but a dynamic sidechain EQ is where the magic actually happens. This means only do this when the signal from another track is coming in. And that's what we're trying to do. First, in the first step, we will find the frequency that is actually needed from the vocals. How do we do that? Well, we can just listen to the vocals. Listen to the playback at the same time. And turn on the brand new solo function that we also have in Pro EQ. To find that frequency spot where both elements are fighting for the same headroom energy, so to say. Seems to be around here, right? Doesn't have to be that precise to do its magic. Once you've done that, you can actually go up here to the sidechain menu and then send the vocal to this Pro EQ that's currently still sitting on the track master. And what Studio One is doing now, if you're also activating the dynamic mode again, is it's telling the Pro EQ on the track master, every time the vocal is coming in, please duck that specific frequency range that we need to make the vocals shine, come to life, be present, and make the lyrics understandable also. The advantage is that it's gonna be so much more transparent than when you would apply this attenuation statically all the time, because that just... Right? It makes it sound so much more dull. 
So let's do it with a dynamic EQ instead. And we already set the sidechain. Let me hit play here. Lower the range to maybe minus 17 or so to make it really obvious. Threshold to minus 17 and engage. Amazing. Wow. I'm just so impressed how we're taking out like more than six decibels in this frequency and you can't really hear any quality degradation in the playback. You just reap the benefits of having more headroom, which means the vocals come through that much better, even if the volume of the vocals hasn't changed at all. The transparent sound of the Pro EQ is also thanks to the automatic attacker release time that it sets. It does it incredibly intelligently, goes for slower release with lower energy, like lower frequencies, and faster release with higher frequencies, which makes it just invisible, even if you're taking out a lot of decibels in favor of headroom. I think it might also be in part because our attention is kind of, you know, designed to always react to the thing that came in just a moment ago and that's why when the vocals come in we don't even notice that for a very brief moment the playback is carving out some frequency space to sit those vocals into the mix and once the vocals stop singing that's when the effect stops also and that's also when our focus goes back to the playback and we're like hey nothing changed I just heard the vocals so much better than before, even though I did nothing to the vocals. Maybe that has something to do with it as well. Um, yeah, science. Now, whether or not research is actually backing up that claim, um, the fact is that Pro EQ has already transformed the way I approach my mixes and hopefully can do the same for you in Studio One Six. Thank you so much for watching.